Hello, hello, and welcome. Welcome to Art Snack. My name is Jenny Lynn James, and I'm an artist based in Toronto, Canada. Art Snack is when we take a little break from our hectic workday to talk all about art. Now, joining me today is Marissa Lee, all the way from Trinidad and Tobago. Hi, Marissa. Hi, Jenny Lynn. Thank you for well, having thanks me. thanks so much for joining us today. Marissa, tell us a little bit about how you got started painting and what influences your work. I got started painting, I guess, as a hobby since I was a child. Um, late into my teens, early 20s, I probably started painting on watercolors for fun as a hobby. And I used to paint with acrylics on people's shoes. And that, um, <laughs> that gained some popularity. I just painted on my friend's shoes. Yes. And then they would post and then people would start asking me to paint on their shoes. And so that turned into a small business of sorts. But okay. then I got really, really interested more in fine art. And so about five or six years ago, I became interested in fine art professionally when I saw um, Scott Burdick and Susan Lyons paintings in person. And okay. since then, they became sort of mentors to me. And um, their work is really what, what struck me as as understanding a clear difference between hobbyist painting and professional painting. Yes. And until I saw their work, I really, my ego probably was more inflated than it should have been. And when I saw their work, it was very humbling. And it was then that I really realized how much I had to learn. And that kind of set me on the spot. I, I became very hungry after that. Like I really wanted to be as good. And so now that I'm actually learning more, <laughs> my ego is, is so much more smaller now like okay I completely understand like I just have to learn 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 and, and that's where my drive comes from wonderful and so what do you like to paint what influences your work in terms of subject matter now when it comes to fine art I love uh, realistic paintings that are more um, Im with impressionistic brush strokes and colors and I really wanted to bring that style to Trinidad and and to capture Trinidadian subjects that way. However, I think the thing that influences me the most or inspires me the most are probably carnival performers in Trinidad. I mean, anybody who follows me knows this, that I love traditional masks and I love traditional mass performers. Yes. And so um, like Blue Devils, Jab Jabs, Baby Dolls, like those are right. things. And when I see them, I just want to somehow capture the way I see them in my mind and the way yes. I adore them. Somehow I want to make that obvious on a, on a canvas. Okay, so traditional carnival characters, yeah. the Jab Jab and the um, Jab Molassi, etc. Yeah. Yeah. So please show us some samples of your work because I know you've painted sure. some Jab Jabs, the Blue Devils, etc. Let's see what, right. what we have here today. How best we can do this. So I hope there's not too much glare. But well, we're seeing it clearly. What right. um, character is this? This is actually Stefano Orlando Marcano. I painted this live at the fine art market a couple um, a couple weeks ago. Oh. He is the leader of the Next Level Devils from Paramount, and he's been a huge influence on me um, when it comes to painting traditional masks. He's posed for me several times. He's a super nice guy, brilliant performer. Um, I don't know, sort of you. He's been okay. so helpful to me in terms of meeting and, um, other carnival performers and getting them to pose for me. So I just oh. love his bone structure. Right, right. He's so you can put this here, one, lower this I one, did. and tell us a bit about the um, the media. You can put it down. Sorry. It's oil on canvas. Oil. And even though he's not painted, like he's not covered up in blue yet, I put the blue light in around him, you know, as homage to his character and to who he is. Okay. Very good. Thank you. So oil on canvas. Oil on, on linen, sorry. Oh, on linen. On primed okay. linen. Yes. This one is Darren Felician of the Underworld Creepers from Paramin. This is one of my favorite Blue Devil paintings. It's one of yes, the, yes, the second Blue Devil paintings I ever did. And it's very dear to my heart. Yes, I'm quite realistic, as you say. Um, you want to bring that, that te um, technique to 
yeah, yeah. I try to I try to keep some mystery in it so I won't give you every little detail mm -hmm. I like to leave something to the viewer's imagination and right. that to me helps you know helps with the mystique of the devil yeah so blue devil painting traditional yeah. carnival character this is another one this is the first blue devil painting I ever did this is Stefano again of the next level devils I painted this before I ever met him and I met him through this painting. He reached out to me and said, hey, that's me. And we've been great friends ever since. Okay. This is also one of the, the paintings that I find very hard to part with. It's very um, sentimental to me. And it's been, um, it's been at the museum several times. Yes, yes. I like how you, you capture the muscles and um, quite realistic. Yeah, he's such um, a great Did you model. work from a photograph? Yes, I did work from photographs. I, I used to um, rent a camera from David's Film View every Carnival Saturday and go out and take pictures during Carnival Week. Okay. And come home, pour through them and try to find pictures that, you know, would make good paintings. This is Ronald Alfred of the original Whipmaster from Cuba. Oh. He is the, well, the job job. When you think Jab Jab in Trinidad, he is the foremost authority on Jab Jab. Okay. His family are all Jab Jabs. They teach it. They keep the tradition alive. Very, very nice people. Sort of weird. All right. Beautiful work. And so this again, this is what? Oil? Yeah. I, I mainly work with oils. Oil. Okay. If I do a watercolor, it's, it's for relaxation purposes. Yes. Yes. But oil is, um, is where I'm at. Now that one you just showed me, how long would it have taken you to, to complete? That one, I I think I painted that in about eight hours. Probably eight less, hours? Probably less because I was painting it for Digicel. They did a feature on the, um, the Jab Jabs and they wanted to feature my painting. So I did oh. it live for them while they recorded it. Wow, that is amazing. Such a short time and so realistic. <laughs> it should be three hours, but I'm, um, I'm still I'm not there yet. Amazing. Uh, some people I know would take months to, to capture what you've done in eight hours. <laughs> so your, your work is just brilliant. Well, I like to paint a la prima, which means wet on wet. So I don't like to let the paint dry before I keep applying the paint, which oh. is how I get, you know, nice blends and smooth yes. strokes. So I can't afford to let the painting dry, which is why okay. I have to keep, you know, keep at it while it's still wet. Okay, a la prima. Okay. Well, it's so different to acrylic, which I do most of the time because it dries me <laughs> very much. There's no opportunity to blend. <laughs> very, I, I completely agree. I, I can't work with acrylics at all anymore since I've started oils. Right. Since you started with oils. Yeah. Oils have spoiled me. Yes, yes. So... <laughs> Tell me, how can people um, get to see more of your artwork? Well, they can follow me on Instagram or Facebook. It's at Marissa Young Lee on both. And um, I have a small group exhibition coming up at Benny Marge starting next week, Saturday, which is the 10th of April till I believe the 30th. Okay. You can see some of my um, just small miniature paintings there. They'll, it'll just be about three or four paintings. But on September 21st, I have a solo show coming up at Horizons Art Gallery. It's my first oh, solo show. And I'm very, very, very excited. Um, oh, yes. I'm pouring my heart and soul into the work that I'll be doing there. I think um, it's going to be new, challenging stuff for me. And I'm, I'm so excited. I'll so be exploring you'll be producing um, new work for the Horizons Mysticism. exhibition. Sorry? New work for the Horizons exhibition. Yes, very, very new work. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Marissa. Your work thank is you for having amazing. Me. And I hope um, the viewers, I'm going to put the information, um, your Instagram handle and your Facebook uh, handle in the uh, video here so people can go and, and see more of your work. All right. And uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Now, viewers, please remember to hit the subscribe button. And that way you keep up to date with all our guests that are coming up. You can also see some of my work at uh, my website, jennylynnjames.pixels.com. And please like my Instagram and Facebook, Art by Jenny Lynn James. That's Art by Jenny Lynn James. Thanks again, Marissa. You're welcome. And I hope uh, Thank you. to see more of your work in the future. <laughs> I hope so.
Yes, and likewise. Join us tomorrow for another art snack. See you then.